Oh, no. Look, but here. Mmm. That ham sandwich. Hey, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing video. I bought myself a new zero degree sleeping bag. I have one, but it's a cheaper one. And uh, I've been a little cold in it up in the mountains on my hunts, my annual mule deer hunts in Colorado. Um, it's about 100 degrees out here, so uh, it's a little strange to be doing a zero degree sleeping bag video now. But as I was opening it, I just ordered it a few days ago. I thought, why not make a video? So I think that I got this from a meat eater, but it is an or uh, sorry, it's a Nemo Nemo sleeping bag. I guess it's specially made for meat eater, and I think I got a little better deal on it through them. So uh, it's got a special camel pattern on it, but it's the same sleeping bag that you can get through Nemo. But um, I guess they got a special deal on it, so it's a little cheaper through Meat Eater. I've never ordered through Meat Eater. I, I know them. It seems like a good company, but mainly interested in the Nemo sleeping bag. Anyway, packing slip. It came uncompressed, I guess, to preserve the down. Nemo. Big plastic bag. Storage sack. I guess keep it un uncompressed. Standard sleeping bag storage. Do you like the colors? Why not? Since I'm hunting anyway, I might as well be hunting color. Not that it matters, but get in big trouble if you remove this. This bag has these gills or fins to let air in because it is down. It's uh, I'm gonna have to give the stats on this. All right, so it's 800 filled down, and uh, that can almost get too hot, I would imagine, in certain situations. So you got these these gills that can let in air that you can work with. Um, another reason I bought this is because the zero degree that I do have, I bought a normal size, and I'm six uh, two ish, and it was a little cramped for me. Plus, in the shoulders, everywhere, and it just it, it just wasn't comfortable. Kept me alive, but uh, I didn't sleep all that well. And gotta sleep well on hunts, so I'm hoping this improves things. Um, so this one is the long version, and it's 86 inches, so that's going to be plenty of room. Um, I do like this kind of built-in hood. Blaze orange on the inside, some camo, and some green. So, I'm not going to do all the review right now. I'm just doing the unboxing part. And then, when I get it up in the woods, and maybe during the middle of the night, I'll do an update. So, this is what we're going to do so far is just show it. It's, uh, it's called the Stalker. The long, like I said, zero degrees. Certainly feels like good quality down. It's uh, it's what they call responsibly sourced. I just want a good sleeping bag, guys. I mean, if you like that, I don't care. Uh, I'll show what it looks like sprawled out. It's a nice looking bag. Let's do this. Hey, let's try this again inside. Uh, it's a little cooler, 
way cooler. We got it laid out. This is what it looks like laid out. Again, nice looking bag. Got the reinforced foot box here. So that's going to keep things warm. And again, we got these, these gills. They zip on the outside and the inside. So you can have it uh, two levels of, of uh, air control. These are zipped down right now. And I don't want to do that with one hand because I'll get it stuck. With the hood, it's got its own stuff sack. I won't be using that. Uh, not much anyway. On the trail, I'll just stuff it in my backpack because I don't need the extra weight. Um, I weighed this and uh, it's exactly what it says on the, on the uh, specs. Let's have a look at that. So the specs have it at 3.9 pounds. I just weighed it. And yeah, it's, it's right around there. Three and a half is what I'm calling this. A little heavier, but if I have to do some extra squats to be warm and get this up the uh, thousand foot climb I have to do, I will do that because being warm at night and being able to sleep is a huge benefit. Let's hope that happens. Uh, now I'm going to unzip it. Zippers are nice and big and easy to get a hold of. And again, we got inside the bag got another zipper on the gills. Hopefully you can see that. So you can zip them from the outside and the inside or just have one. And you get different degrees of control for allowing air into this bag or no air at all. So you got the collar with the nice hood which um, that helps because I'm not sure if I want to wear my my fur hat anymore if I have this uh, but we'll see it depends I'll have it with me either way can control that tighten that if you like and yeah you got this this neck filler here, I forgot what that's called, but got that in the back and the front. And got some Velcro to, to attach it. You get your neck sealed up. So, this is the bag in all its glory here. Looking nice. Anyway, that's this portion of the unboxing because uh, I'm not going to be able to test it until next month and not here. Like I said, it's 100 degrees. I got to stop this video, uh, but so far it looks like a high quality item. And uh, I'll give part two of the impressions, hopefully, at camp. Brady Bunch. Ham sandwich. Mm.